Is there no Wikipedia for Saw the Musical? Probably not. Hmm. Hello, and welcome to Spooky Sips, where we put our love of horror movies into a podcast and sip some spirits along the way. I'm one of your hosts, Yvette, and I'm here with my co-hosts, Laura and Brianna. Hello. Hey. All right, so as we mentioned last episode, this week is a very special episode. Laura and myself, Brianna, traveled to Portland to go see Yvette to see and experience Saw the Musical together. Spooky yes. Sips goes live, baby. Yes. It was an amazing trip, an so amazing good. experience. So what we're going to do tonight is we're going to give you our take on it. It'll be a little bit different yeah, you know, than, than the norm. Um, but if you're interested in the details on Saw, check out the episode just before this one. And in that, we discuss the movie Saw. Mm-hmm. Yes. So. Mm-hmm. And Here. definitely would recommend watching Saw or at least looking up the synopsis of Saw. Yeah. Um, yeah. If you're interested in the musical at all. Honestly, I would say just watch the movie because I think yeah. it makes the musical so much better. And, oh, and we'll we'll talk about this, but there are these very small subtleties of the movie that the musical did an amazing job of subtly capturing yes. and making fun of. And I think I think it's worth it to watch so that you can you can appreciate the brilliance of Saw the Musical. Yeah. Definitely. We did go. We did go <laughs> with you know our me and Brianna's brother, Yvette, your husband, who had not seen Saw, and he mm-hmm. also liked it. I think. Yeah, he still appreciated. I it. think you can still have a good time. Yeah. Like you won't catch the little things. Like I feel like we had to tell him a couple things where it's like, oh, here's why this is funny. Um, but overall, I feel like he still really enjoyed it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So should so- we just walk through our night? I think so. Like, yes. Should we walk through our experience of? what happened I so so i know it's not directly related but we started out the night by yvette you found us this amazing bar to go to called raven's manor yes and there's so much spooky stuff around portland yes we started the, we started the day just spooky like we yes <laughs> getting in the spooky mood even before the musical mm-hmm. <laughs> And no, feel, we had to. I feel like now I have this call. Like this is where the spooky sips compound must be founded is Portland because it's just innately spooky. Mm-hmm. It is. Mm-hmm. It is. <laughs> so Raven's Manor was so cute. It was like it's just very dark, and it's like this asylum, and all of the people working there like got super into it. And we it's just like a spooky meal. Yeah, it's like a restaurant in a in a nice haunted house. Yes. Is how I would describe it. And everything is themed. Yes. Which is wonderful because <laughs> we love a theme. Yes. <laughs> so, yeah, then we headed to the musical. And I think what made it so good was that we all went into this pretty blind. We yeah. didn't look it up. We didn't, like, do any research. We didn't do any, like, poking around. Like, we had no idea what was going to happen. Right. Yeah, I, I can't emphasize how little research any of us did. It literally was someone sent, not even us, it was someone sent my husband Matt <laughs> um info about Saw the Music because it was like, hey, I think I think you're into this, right? Um, I let Laura and Brianna know immediately. And it was like, Great, we'll buy tickets. That's <laughs> like, it. Like that within, is within 13 minutes we bought tickets. That's exactly yeah. what happened. <laughs> it was like, okay, great, let's go. And okay. I was like, okay. No more research was done. Uh, No idea. We didn't even know if it was going to be about the first movie, the entire Saw saga. Right. Any of the other movies. Just, yeah, went in pretty much blind, other than it was Saw-related and a musical. Yes. (laughs) And I think they make it very clear that this is not... um, legally associated with saw so i i did know it was going to be funny because it's it's specifically called a parody Mm -hmm. of saw and they're like we're not we're the unofficial parody of saw franchise like we're not and i mean it would literally have to be what other way could you do (laughs) right i mean you know like rocky horror show like Mm -hmm. you know that that one's you know but no it of course yeah (laughs) So yeah, we we went to the venue. It was really cute. It was at this place called the Abbey in Portland. It was like an old church yes. converted into a uh, theater. The venue mm-hmm. was so cool. Loved mm-hmm. it. 
And because we weren't in Utah, we could have wine. Yes. So we got ourselves a wine before we went in. Yes. And they even had a bunch of themed drinks. So I feel like we could talk about what we are sipping on. Mm -hmm. But they also had so many drinks. We'll have to, like, share the menu. Um because they had some really fun ones. So like the the venue also had themed drinks for saw. Like all of the cocktails I think were were saw themed. They were. And I think we took a picture of it so we could maybe post it. Yeah, we'll that. share that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So for tonight, we are drinking a cocktail that you know, it all started in an airport bar. It did. Where Laura where it always I, does. Where it always does. <laughs> we're on our way. <laughs> and there was this cute bar that had all of these cute cocktails, and we just fell in love with the idea of the razzle dazzle. Razzle dazzle. Yeah. We it's were so both, fitting. <laughs> it's perfect because it's a production. Yeah. You know? The razzle dazzle. Yeah. <laughs> Laura and I were both immediately singing Razzle Dazzle song from Chicago. Yes. <laughs> to really get us in the right headspace. Spooky Sips goes to Broadway. Yes. yes. <laughs> okay, so it had Aperol, orange juice. And simple syrup, which I'll talk about in a second, topped with sparkling wine. And you can garnish it with a blue sugar rim to give a nice contrast. Mm -hmm. So we made this again when we were at a vet's place. We did not do the simple syrup because I actually think it is sweet enough with everything else. So the simple syrup is only if you want that. Yeah. If you want it, I think it was good without. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That's the old razzle dazzle. And honestly, sippers, it's so good. It's like a mimosa, just a little bit fancified. Because yeah. Aperol, Aperol is, you know, pretty bitter. Um, mm-hmm. but then with the sugar rim, it it's just like a fancy mimosa. Like it's so it was so good. Yeah. I it, really enjoyed it's it. Really yummy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Delish. Well, so we, we knew that we were the vip section (laughs) yes and we chose the splash zone yes so when we got to the theater we knew we'd be up front so we go down to the front and you could immediately tell where because there was this temporary flooring mat put down with just streaks and blobs of blood (laughs) everywhere so we were like that's us there we are yes yeah the person in the front I think when he saw that we were the VIP, it was like, do you, do you, are you interested in actually getting splashed or no splash? And he was like, okay, you should go to the left. And it was like, yeah, the left had the covering and the right didn't. So we, yeah, we knew which way we were going. And I did bring my outfit that I wore for, if you're true fans of the show, you will remember uh, one of our earlier movies that we watched was Alice Sweet Alice. Mm Mm-hmm. And in that, she has this yellow rain poncho, and I brought it, but it's too loud. I couldn't wear in the actual. No, it was thing. so loud. I was like, "You it's... cannot wear this." Yeah, <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, it was like every movement. It was just like, <laughs> yeah. So I took it off before the play started because I didn't want to like be that guy in the theater. Yeah, and the the stage setup was oh cool. Mm-hmm. So it it looks like the bathroom. You know, they had the tile as the background. And then they had, you know, the tub and the toilet, which was on wheels. So I was immediately intrigued by that. Right. And then the little, the little guy, the little jigsaw, jigsaw, in the on the floor. Yes. <laughs> and that was the, that was the stage. So we knew, yep. we knew where it for a good time. Yeah, yeah. And so you know, turns out. Saw the musical parody is really just a parody of the first movie. So, yes, there's 10 saws or whatever, but just the first one is the only one that this is. Referenced. They made a, yeah, they made a couple jokes about the, yeah. about the others, but it was based on yeah. the first one. Yeah. yeah. So it starts, it, I think it starts with Jigsaw mm-hmm. giving us. The little intro. And I will say, the person who voiced Jigsaw had such a good voice. Um, She had this, like, incredible voice. Yeah, she was amazing. She was amazing. Morgan Trod is her name. No, she had such a good voice. And she came out, she did, like, the the raspy Jigsaw voice, like, to start. And then just, like, broke out into song. It was was so fun. (laughs) And I love the way they did it where, like, so she's there and she's wearing this, this, black cloak 
mm-hmm. I guess, this hooded cloak. And then she's holding the puppet in front of her, which I will say made it sometimes, I think, a little bit. The projecting of her voice did so much better when she didn't have a puppet in front of her face. But Definitely. I think logistically, that's just something they had to give up for the effect. Mm-hmm. Um but yeah, it, it was just so cute because that she is Jigsaw, but then she's clearly also just somebody in a black cloak. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It was so yeah. good. The puppet was so fun though. Like the I don't know how they controlled the tiny hands yeah. on the puppet, but she did a good job of like the tiny puppet like pointing out into the audience or like it had doing so much personality. <laughs> yeah, like the jazz, like the spirit fingers, like as yeah. she's like walking away. Mm-hmm. Um, which I also thought was an interesting take that they made Jigsaw a, a woman. Mm-hmm. Like, it, it doesn't really matter. Um, and But it, I just thought it was kind of an interesting take that... So the cast is just three people. It's yeah. two guys who play Lawrence, Adam, and then Jig... And then, you know, one f- woman who's Jigsaw. Mm-hmm. Um, very small cast. Yeah. And then they just kind of, like, switch off costumes yeah. throughout yeah, they the night to cover the other ones. Oh, yeah. They yeah. play different people. Like, at one yeah. point, she's the wife. And at one right. point, she's he's the a... body. Oh, she's the body. <laughs> yeah. And then at one point, he's the daughter. Oh, my oh, God. My when gosh. Adam has to play <laughs> Lawrence's daughter. <laughs> and they kept referencing and joking about how ugly his daughter is. <laughs> It was amazing. So that. <laughs> it was so funny. <laughs> so, oh. Yeah. So then, then the stage is set where we've got the two guys shackled mm-hmm. in the bathroom. You know, mm-hmm. he's like coming out of the bathtub. <laughs> um, <laughs> and I just love the way that they did the the scene where he like puts the key down the drain. Yeah. Yep. And he just so like intentionally loses the key like, was, oh this must not be important i'll just throw it down the drain throw it away. Oh, amazing <laughs> mm-hmm. and the guy who was dr lawrence oh my oh, gosh he, this guy should win like oscars or whatever it is tony's um <laughs> he was in this ridiculous wig yes oh. and <laughs> he just nailed dr lawrence oh he really did no, he did. It was so, it was so, and I swear he like got better as the night yes. went on. See, that's totally. what I was about to say. Cause I, I feel like the fir- right before intermission, I thought Jigsaw, she was amazing. So Morgan mm-hmm. Proud was amazing. And I honestly thought James Lynch, who played Adam, he like his voice was really good and he just played oh that gosh. dumb character. Mm-hmm. And at first, I wasn't like super into Lawrence. Yeah. Like I thought he was fine. But the second half, he shined shown yeah shown. Um, yeah <laughs> andrew kyra is his name he was freaking amazing <laughs> honestly yeah i loved all three of them like, like he was so the, good and just the he chemistry was. between all three of them yeah it really worked <laughs> and they really like nailed the production yeah well speaking of chemistry one thing the musical decided to do that was a little different from <laughs> saw the movie <laughs> is, just a um, little just a little bit different um is that it's actually a romance <laughs> it's a ro- a rom-com and by rom she means gay romance <laughs> yes <Yeah. laughs> sexy sips here sexy we go sips yep. and i think sexy it's like sips. from the very first musical number yeah. right where like they're both chained together and it's like about how like you know it's like just what is it i'm like forgetting the wrong the place at the yes. wrong time yes oh yeah <laughs> and the right place at the wrong and they're just time. finding each other attractive and they're singing to each other and like <laughs> it's it's their body language their chemistry their singing their time their comedic timing yes the timing they did was really good, so yeah. good yeah they did so good <laughs> so good oh my gosh so yeah, it's just it kind of goes through like a very condensed version of Saw. We mm-hmm. really don't have much of like the police scenes. They're just kind of told instead of shown. Um it's it focuses really on like the bathroom. Mm-hmm. Although they do reference the police and right, I right. like when they reference the police, they always talk about officer tap and they do a I don't know if you can hear that. No, oh my God. No. Okay, so they do a little da 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 and then they do a sing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like detective step and sing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> <pretty new. laughs> 
Um, yeah, the the dead body part was amazing. Like her playing the dead body and just so obviously being alive. Like I love how the oh, doctor so looks and says, "This patient isn't breathing." I'm a doctor. I know. <laughs> yes. yes. Oh nope, they're dead. Definitely dead. And it's like the person playing the body will just kind of like yawn. And <laughs> like at one point she picked and... a wedgie, and I was yeah. like. Oh. and then like during like one of the like transitions she just like stands up and walks away they put like a like a dummy on the floor Mm -hmm. (laughs) Mm -hmm. amazing so good i know i feel like we can just talk through like favorite yes favorite scenes i think yeah yeah Mm -hmm. (laughs) so i think for me one of the one of the favorite scenes like i loved that scene with the body where they were kind of making fun of it i also really liked the scene where um they're searching for the clues and adam needs to search through the toilet like where the heart is oh um yes. and they do it slightly different than the movie where that he explicitly says and again he just plays this like dumb <laughs> sweet character so well yeah where he looks at the toilet where there's the heart and he go he actually says to lawrence he's like don't you think I should just look in the back of the toilet first, maybe? Yeah, like in the tank. The and Laura, or yeah, the tank. And Lawrence is like, no. But then it becomes this like love song. It oh, is a love, it is a love Adam, song. Adam has his hand like elbow deep in the toilet. And then he starts like, it was the most lustful, disgusting thing. He's like flicking like the poo water. It, it was horrifying. It was amazing. <laughs> it sounds so dumb, but honestly, Oh, we're not going to do it justice because the way we're they not. pulled it off. So the way we were sitting is I was sitting closest to other members of the audience. And there's me. And honestly, you guys, I was sitting next to this very gruff looking man. Mm-hmm. And I wasn't sure like how this was going to go. Several points. He and I both are just doubling over in our seats, crying, laughing so oh. hard. Like we bonded. It was amazing. Oh no. I was like so crying funny. during some of these scenes. It like was so <laughs> funny. It was like, they did a good job. Yeah. I think my favorite scene was, her name was Amanda, right? The girl with the bear. <gasps> yes. Mm-hmm. Um, they, they did that scene with the girl that was oh. jigsaw. Mm-hmm. Um, I, loved that scene like it just stood out to me her singing her movement the way that they retold it her outfit her outfit she looked Mm -hmm. like laura craft tomb raider it was amazing literally yes um yeah so that was one of my favorite parts oh no that was good i feel like yeah they had so many like little things that made it funny like uh, speaking of like the heart scene so for the like the tape recorders, they play back some of it, but then part of it too is like Jigsaw comes out and does a whole little monologue, you know, to tell us and it's song and dance about you know how you're gonna live your best life if you can get through it. Um, and then in order to do the whole like follow your heart, they have Jigsaw come out and it's like oh, and also follow your heart, 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 heart. And she's like, what? she's yeah. backing up, <laughs> yeah. like. It making was, her own echoes yeah it hard, amazing. Hard. it's like just follow like the really obvious clues like like just look around like, really we make it so clear like just so. open your eyes you idiots yeah. <laughs> it was amazing um, or like after yeah amanda um you know gets the key and like removes the thing it's like they they had jigsaw on like a tiny tricycle that was like squeaking down the theater yeah and it was the best squeaky tricycle oh, it, was, it was yeah amazing. just like squeak, 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 and, like coming over to the theater yeah i just i have such awe and respect respect for people who can who can just do that comedy with such good timing and just mm-hmm. make it like obvious enough that everyone can get it but subtle enough that it's actually funny because like, you don't yeah, want to be yeah. too in your face with it right um mm-hmm. it, it and maybe we were just we were in the right place at the right time we were the songs we were. but like it it hit me so funny i loved it no um, i agree i was laughing so hard it was um, so good so one of the things that I feel like they also did a good job at catching um, is Lawrence. Yes. He does so many of like the flashback scenes that he's like talking through. And during one of them, his accent switches. And it's so strange. <laughs> strong. 
Honestly, guys, this is I when I like lost a it. Strong British Irish accent. Mm-hmm. All of a sudden, <laughs> this is when I I I I actually made a sound. And normally, I'm so respectful and like obvious of like how I am to other audience members. But I couldn't help scream laugh. It was so freaking funny to me that they like put that subtle like accent change. It was hilarious. Soul. Oh, British, so Irish, and then like back to like American no, English. No, they did that perfectly. <laughs> it was so good. Oh, it was you so have fun. a favorite song. Oh, I think there's so many. Mm-hmm. For me, there were a lot of songs for mm-hmm. me, and I did Google songs if you need reminders. Oh, of nice. There were. Mm-hmm. Um, mine was the Uncala La 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 La. I loved oh, that one. Just. Yes, no, because that one it was it was just so unexpected during yes. a getty out with the flashbacks where we're learning more about Lawrence. <laughs> yeah, and he's like, I want to be an unka la 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 just <laughs> no, I that's I think that might be one of my top ones. <laughs> that was a winner. Oh, so funny. Uh, like how do you, like how many people do you think we're learning what an oncologist is? You know, I know right? right? I'll never forget now because I'm an oncologist. Nope. <laughs> that will be in my brain forever. <laughs> <laughs> I also really like the pig in a wig one. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that one was I'm really a fun. Pig in a fucking wig. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. Okay. The one scene that had me just like die laughing, where it was like I, I'm just, I'm crying. I, I can't stop. And because honestly, it was really long. Was one thing we haven't talked about is you know yeah there were only three of them, so the secretary um that Lawrence was having an affair with was played by a blow up doll. Oh and... my god. I love I love that scene so much. And so there, there's like a the the love scene between Dr. Lawrence and the secretary. It is this it's like this full musical number where the guy who plays Dr. Lawrence is like Having this dance like with a tango, a doll. It's yeah, an like erotic, a tango, it's an erotic, erotic dance, dance. Mm-hmm. and like I was just, I was dying, like I was cry, I like couldn't get the tears out of my face fast enough because like this doll, like the way he looked at this doll, yes, their chemistry was, was the best of everyone, love and lust. Yeah, no, he looked at was so much love. And I was, was like, laughing so hard I couldn't breathe. Like. Honestly, yeah, I'm curious. So they are coming to Salt Lake next. And I, I told my husband, I was like, honestly, like, I think you would love this. And I almost want to go see it again because I don't know if, so when they're doing their dance, the blow up doll, her, um, I think, left boob comes out. Mm-hmm. And yeah. it didn't look on purpose. Because then eventually, like, he fully takes her clothes off. Yeah. But, like, the fact that they're, they're just, like, dancing this romantic dance with, like, this, like, plastic left boob out. Like, <laughs> I think it was stress with just the boob out. Yeah, it might have been on purpose because it was amazing. <laughs> because like... it was freaking brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, for some reason, the scene was just so long. But so fun. So like, long. at one point, like, you know, because they're doing all, like, the singing and stuff. And he's like, okay, dance break. And it's like, he's just, like, throwing the doll. And, like, it's, like, one arm to, like, lift her up. Like, it was oh. it was so fun. I think it that was, was so- like, one of the top scenes for me where, like, I just, it, I could not stop laughing. Uh, <laughs> that was a good one. That I was agree. a really yeah. good one. Yeah, they also had this blow-up doll play the nurse. Because, mm-hmm. you know, they didn't have enough people. So they just had a random <laughs> blow-up doll nurse. So yeah, that was yeah. like scrubs. <laughs> Yeah. That's mm-hmm. so funny. No, I also, that was amazing. <laughs> I really liked the scene where they then had um, the girl who played Amanda and Jigsaw. She also played uh, Lawrence's wife. Mm-hmm. I'm, mm-hmm. And I'm forget. I don't even think they named them in the play. I don't know if they did. No, because it was just like his wife and ugly right. daughter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so, like, she's she's in these like little you know pajamas with her blonde wig, and then um, the guy who played Adam is dressed up as the hideous daughter. Yeah. Um. But then they do like a uh, they do a battle between um the guy. Oh, what's his name? Zep. Zep. Right or Zep. yeah, yeah. So it's Zep. So they have yeah, they have the actor who plays Lawrence. He was Zep acting mm-hmm. as Zep. Um, and then like they're doing like this, like let's get ready to rumble. Yeah, it's like a WWE. Yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah. Like where it's like match. in this corner, mm-hmm. you know, <laughs> in this. Oh, that corner. was amazing. <laughs> and she somehow 
so totally looked like the mom. Yes. Even though she looks nothing like the mom. Like yeah. something no, about the did. blonde wig. It was just enough. It, it was and it perfect. almost made like that actor has like her eye, like she's so beautiful. And her eyes are just ever so slightly more together than they're supposed to be, but in like a really intriguing way. And for mm-hmm. some somehow the actor that the actress that played her, like I felt like her eyes looked like her. Yeah. In that scene. It was crazy. Yeah. No, definitely. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So many good scenes. Uh, no, I'm trying to think of other good moments. <laughs> I know. So our listeners are probably like, okay, but what's the splash zone? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Yes. <laughs> so as we're nearing the end of, you know, the movie, we're, we're post-intermission. We know what's coming, having seen the movie. <laughs> I just I love the way that they did this. But it's time for Lawrence to saw off his foot. <laughs> yes. And I love that Adam is like, you know, we could just break the foot if we had to to like slip it through and Lawrence goes, "No, we have to cut it off. The whole foot." <laughs> mm-hmm. No, it's like they do it cuz like even in the very very beginning scene where they find the saws where Lawrence is like, he doesn't want us to cut the chains. He wants us to cut off our feet, our feet. And then, so they throw the saw and it's like, and it's like, Oh, what, like, what did that hit? And it's like, Oh, just, just a pipe. You know, the thing that the saws were like intended to cut, yeah, but thing yeah. that we could use this for. <laughs> disregard, <laughs> but moving on. <laughs> oh shit. And so, yeah, he, he gets all set up to do it. And that, which I was hoping would be, was what the splash zone was for. Mm, yes. Now, full disclosure, we there really wasn't much splashage. No. Which, no. to be honest, like, I actually don't know that I mind. Like, part of me was like, I like the shirt I'm wearing. I don't really want to yeah. ruin it. So, like, part of me was okay. But really, we just got, like, a sprinkling on our feet. Yes. I got some thing. little blood, red blood specks on my legs. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But he, you know, as he's sawing the foot, he, like splashes blood at you yeah like he has the little like the blood packets that right as he's like sawing he just like squeezes with his hand to like pop and i will say i think part of the reason we didn't get splashed because the even the front row seats are like kind of far away from the thing but like they they got some legit air in distance like it was a lot of distance (laughs) i honestly wonder if a different if like because they clearly travel around so I mm-hmm. I think that this venue was a really interesting venue. We were almost like on a at a church stage or something. So mm-hmm. I wonder if different venues might be different. Like you might get splashed more For if sure. you go somewhere where the front row is closer to the stage. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And the this was one of my favorite moments because in the movie, like here's the thing: I'll give the movie so much credit. They handled the gore really well actually like this scene where she's digging through his intestines was disgusting yeah but for some reason the part where he cuts his leg off was the worst gore graphic i've ever seen in my whole life like his foot was so obviously stuck in his pants and they just put him in a pair of pants with a really long left leg like yeah i i forget if we talked about that in the oh last my gosh one. it's but, so ridiculous yeah. but i they they nailed it perfectly because they did the exact same thing with the really long leg where you can still fully see his foot under it <laughs> yeah uh, the ankle <laughs> yeah so i i appreciated that part oh but then they just like added this like bloody kind of stump on the yep, end exactly like, yeah oh. <laughs> it was so good it was so good <laughs> Yeah, I really wasn't expecting it to be such a a gay love story. Yeah. But I guess we should say, and again, we always have been like, don't listen to us if you want, don't want spoilers. But toward the end, our main men do have a moment. They They do. 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 Yeah, they do. And I think it's, yeah, so after Lawrence is like dragging his fake stump across the stage, (laughs) Oh, oh gosh, I'm just remembering because, like, he shoots Adam. Mm-hmm. Right, like, non fatally <laughs> shoots Adam. Yeah, but yeah. then he, like, lustfully, like, sticks his fingers into Adam's gunshot hole and mm-hmm. then they, like, start making out. <laughs> well, because at first they kept 
about kissing but then didn't and the whole audience is like kiss him like we're all cheering him on to kiss adam yeah and then they finally do and it's amazing oh it's it's so good well and then i think it was during that number he's like cutting off his leg he has like a like a line where it's like oh like i saw through you and now i'm just gonna saw through me yeah. and it's like as he's like cutting his <laughs> That's right. <foot> off. <laughs> amazing oh good i want to yeah, hang out with good. the crew i want to <laughs> hang out with the crew of this show i know like they just like in order for them to be so good at these scenes they have to be cool people yeah. oh definitely i agree like yeah. oh oh my god so <laughs> funny no it, it was, was amazing really and yet then yeah it ends beautifully and we it was the love story we never knew we needed and yeah. it mm-hmm. honestly like i i was just so happy the whole time and i was like i haven't been this happy in so long mm. this this movie is healing me yeah yeah no it was just like yeah it, it was just really fun yeah mm-hmm. it was so fun and i i it was fun because they didn't take themselves too seriously but they also Mm-mm. like you know kind of paid homage to this movie that really is a big deal even yeah. you know what you whether you love or hate it it's a very kind of i think um it's an establishing film yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but it's a big deal. And so, yeah, you know, they it it was it was ha- I I just I felt like I was on a high all the rest of the whole night. Oh, definitely. Well, so. and then again, this isn't um, you know, as related, but it was like really fun because at the end, I feel like everyone was just standing outside the theater talking about it where it's like, I don't know why no one's going home, but it was just this giant group of people and everyone was just like talking about the musical. Like it was just, it was a good, good vibes all around. People were happy. That's what I was going to say because like when we came to Portland for Friday the 13th, the vibe in the theater was amazing. Yes. So fun. It made it what it was. And I feel like the same thing with this, like Mm -hmm. the vibe of the audience was yeah. beautiful and amazing and everyone was just like digging it and happy together and yeah it was it was beautiful yeah, <laughs> yeah. no Definitely. it was great mm-hmm. it was great <laughs> loved it so, so okay so you know like we said this is gonna be a shorter episode we're just telling you our highlights but i think that we could still do a spooky sips rating oh yeah so oh, yes you know we don't do stars we do sips mm-hmm. so out of five, how many sips do you give Saw the musical? <laughs> I'll go first. I give it five. I, I mean, it five full sips because yeah. for what it was, was it a horror? No, but for what it was, the it's one of the, I've seen a lot of theater. It's one of the best productions I've ever seen. And I'm being serious. Like yeah. it was so good. So yeah. I'm a five. No, it was, it was so fun. Again, like, it's like, yeah, like they don't, take themselves too seriously but mm-hmm. they were all really talented actually yeah. like they their voices were really good yeah they the, sounded like trained and yeah yeah oh, no yes. the voices were really good the acting was was also like really good i feel like they nailed the characters they definitely like and you can tell that they really understand the saw movie and made fun of all the same things that you know we all make fun of yes. like it mm-hmm. if you liked saw you're probably gonna like saw the musical because yeah. it, it's gonna highlight all the same things that we all caught so or if you had a lot of issues with saw you actually might also still love it yes yeah. you'll probably yeah. like it more so mm-hmm. <laughs> either way mm-hmm. so yeah no I, it, it's it's a five for the experience for mm-hmm. sure yeah yeah i think i think for me it's hard because i had like the best time ever I feel like technically I wish maybe the sound quality in this particular theater was a little bit better because sometimes Mm -hmm. like I knew that they were telling a story with their songs, but I couldn't always understand it just because of, I think of the acoustics of the theater. Mm -hmm. So that's my, that's my kind of only critique that I have with it, but the experience I had, just the feeling I felt, and I know that was curated by the writing, the timing, the acting. Oh yeah. I, I cannot I cannot fault it. I had the best time ever. So yes, I have one little critique critique, but I'm still giving it a five. Nice. It's I, honestly like, just so yeah, fun. I would do it. I like loved it so much. Like I really 
the fact that they're coming to Salt Lake next, I'm like, I want to go like, again. Yeah, it was <laughs> it one was more so time. Fun. I really do. I can't get enough. I need this love story in my life. It's so good. No, the love story is so is so good. It, it's the love story we didn't know we needed. Mm-hmm. But the actors, yeah, their chemistry. It was so good. It was so yes. good. Yeah. No, I like loved it. Great job. Yeah. Mm. So yeah, if you have the chance, we all very highly recommend mm-hmm. definitely that you go see Saw the Musical. <laughs> Yeah, Perfect. even if you don't like horror, even if you don't like musicals, even if you don't like theater, it, it's so good. Yeah. Oh, no, definitely. The, it is not scary. I think we've already said oh, that, but no. like it is it is right. not scary. Even the like quote unquote gore, the bloody parts, like it's funny. It, it's yeah. <laughs> definitely not for children. In fact, I don't no. even think at least when we saw it, you had to be older just like I think they wouldn't more. allow anyone under six even in the theater yeah. and if you were yeah. under 16 i think you had to be with an adult yeah, yeah. which i appreciate mm-hmm. oh no, and, especially and for is, that is the right call <laughs> yeah no not for children <laughs> right no no there's okay, definitely wait. like just with like and they start oh, okay okay i guess we already gave our ratings but like they just start out so strong with like flip it like adam mm-hmm. like just pulling out all these sex toys from his pocket like oh i have something in my pocket and in the movie it's supposed to be these notes these cryptic notes but he's just pulling out condoms and condoms and anal beads, anal beads and- <laughs> <It's> so funny <laughs> but yeah so kids no no go. definitely not no go. okay wait we do have to I don't think we ever figured out what it was, right? So while we were in the theater, and they did not do it during the show, so it's not like it was, like, yeah. annoying or anything. But while we were all sitting down, we heard this, like, squeak. Yeah. And I was like, wait, like, what? what's happening? And then it sounded like a squeaky toy. Because at first I was like, oh, maybe it's, like, a chair that no, someone's sitting in. that like 100% was a squeak, like a dog no, toy. No, I yeah, saw like it. a dog toy. I saw yeah. it at the end. I told you guys, right? <gasps> Where like I didn't I see the actual that. toy, but I saw a guy and it was almost like he was holding a clutch. Um, oh. And as we were walking up, because I knew he knew I was looking because I was like, you guys, every time I look back, they stop. They stop. Like they're yeah. doing it to fuck with me. Like I yeah. know they are. No, we were and, all like looking around and we made, we made Laura do a, do a little walk. Bus. I did two walks. I did two, two walks. You made me times. do try to go find it. And um, no, then as we were walking out, like the dude, like he was holding the, like this little black kind of like thing, but, like it was in a bag. Um, and he looked at me and he goes, squeak, squeak, squeak. <gasps> and I was like, you fucking, like, you were it was him. Me crazy. But is that it? Like, this is what I want to know from listeners. Is that a thing? Like, let's make, fighting? let's not make it one, please. Because that was so yeah. a- weird <laughs> it, it was squeaky toys like i didn't mind it it was fun but i just needed i wished i would have i i minded why. it like, it was not happening? fun it was really it annoying was so weird well, but they like, didn't do it during the show it was no it, they was didn't like, but i'm still yeah. allowed to be a grumpy old lady about it okay <laughs> sure. i see i liked it i wasn't even mad about it i just wanted i was to mad no more yeah see part of me was like is it like a saw related squeaky toy like is this like right. a, like a squeaky no. toy jigsaw no, right. or something that would be amazing he wouldn't reveal Oh, interesting. You reveal. <laughs> oh. I'm guessing it was a squeaky toy shaped like we can all make our guesses. I think it was a banana. Squeaky well, see, you said it was black, and so I choose to believe it was a jigsaw squeaky toy. Yeah. Like a okay. full yeah, little it was dummy. anal beads. Like it was clearly in a black bag. Oh, I bet it was anal beads. <laughs> That's a good guess. The old guess. That's a really good guess. Anal beads. <laughs> oh, that's do you think they make squeaky toy anal beads? I hope not. That'd be really okay. Upsetting. So, anyways, um, <laughs> we're gonna wrap this up. Okay, we can wrap it up. <laughs> okay, so a word that I've kept wanting to use, but I was like, no, I can't, as I wanted to be like, it was immaculate, but I can't use that because next time on Spooky Sips, we're watching immaculate, yes, so it actually are. works perfectly for our next one. Yes. So. It is on streaming services. It is a, a recent movie. It came out in 2024, but you can you can stream it. Um, mm-hmm. So if you haven't seen it, get watching, get sipping, get squeaking, and we'll see you next time on Spooky Sips. <laughs> okay, bye. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> I should have gotten a squeaky toy that we could have like squeaked at the end. Thank you for listening to Spooky Sips. 
If you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to rate, review, and subscribe wherever you're listening. To stay up to date on all the spooky things we're up to, follow us on Facebook and Instagram at SpookySips underscore podcast. And if you want to help support the podcast, consider buying us a coffee, or really a cocktail. We are completely independent, so every little bit goes a long way to keeping our podcast running and improving. Thanks again for listening, and we'll see you in two weeks.